properties of air. What do you think goes unseen, though it is present everywhere? Just a little of this can move around freely, filling an entire building. At the same time, it can stay captive inside a tiny jar. Can you guess what we are referring to? Yes, it's the air. Air is present everywhere around you, in your classroom, in a bottle of juice, in a heap of sand, and even in an empty glass. Air is indeed very strange. Come. Let's discover the properties of one of the most essential resources, the air. Air has mass, hence it has weight. Let us verify this property of air. Like all other states of matter, air occupies space. Let us conduct an experiment to verify this property of air. You will need an empty bottle, a paper tissue and a big bowl of water. Roll the paper tissue into a small ball and push it into the bottle. Turn the bottle upside down and dip it into the water in the bowl. Water does not enter the bottle and the tissue stays dry. Now, tilt the bottle to a side. As you can see, air bubbles rush out and water enters the bottle. And the tissue becomes wet. Why did bubbles come out of the glass when it was tilted? What were the bubbles made of? Air in the bottle prevented water from entering it when the bottle was held straight. When the bottle was tilted, the air in it escaped in the form of bubbles and made way for water to enter. This experiment clearly shows that air occupies space. What makes leaves and dust fly in breeze? Air exerts pressure and makes things move. Let's conduct an experiment to verify this property. You will need some colored liquid and a medicine dropper. Pinch the rubber handle of the dropper to expel air. Place the dropper in the liquid and release the handle. The liquid rises up in the dropper. Now pinch the rubber handle. The air in the rubber pushes down the liquid in the dropper and forces it out. This shows that air exerts pressure. We often apply the properties of air in everyday life. If you look around you, you can find many instances where air pressure is put to use. Here are a few such instances. The sounds produced by instruments like the flute and whistle. The use of droppers and syringes to measure and administer liquid medicines. Straws to suck in liquid. Air guns to fire out pellets. Flying kites, etc. work on the property of air pressure.